Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Gloomhaven, the Guildmaster Campaign. We're going to start off with a bit of bookkeeping as usual. And I've only made one change to the uh, party for this episode, uh, for this scenario, and that's the addition of the Sunkeeper instead of the Cragheart. Due to the uh, types of enemies that we're going to be seeing in this in this scenario. Before we jump into that though, let's check out our levels. We have the Night Shroud is leveling up to level 3. Let's see what they what he gets. So, the Terror Blade. Attack 3 and push 3. Uh, for the top action, this is free. Um, meaning it's not getting burned. And the bottom action is move 4. All attacks targeting you gain disadvantage this round. Um, again, a free action. This is a uh, an initiative of 17, so it's kind of early, but I, I mean it is below 20, so that's that is something good. But um, I still think that uh, we could go earlier. We do have seven and a nine in here and a 13, so 17 is a good addition if we want to play early with him. And a push three ability that could potentially become a push four is pretty great for something that we can use over and over again. Uh, now we're not seeing any uh, consuming or infusing of darkness with either of these abilities and it we wouldn't be able to put that sticker on this card anyway so this one is a bit more difficult if you're into enhancements or if you're into uh, using darkness um, close to every round. So let's check out what the other one is. Armor of the Night. It's an attack four, and if we consume darkness, we will heal ourselves for four, which is a pretty good card by itself, even if we didn't use the uh, the heal ability. An attack four is, uh, is pretty strong. Um, you know, compared to his other attacks are attack one and attack two, attack one. So an attack four is pretty strong for the Night Shroud. And a shield one self is pretty great as well. Uh, particularly, this one gives the ability to, you know, either consume or infuse. So this one's a pretty good one to add to the, uh, the Night Shroud's deck. I want to say that in the past I probably went with um you know I have a hard time remembering this at this point this it's been almost a year now so I want to say I probably went with this one but I could see the reason to do either of them honestly the the shield one it's not that important for the night shroud if we're going to try and stay um uh, invisible for most of his turns so the shield could help in one of those rounds where we're stuck in a sticky situation and um, we want to put a shield up just to help him out a little bit and of course that heal is going to go uh, a long way in a following round after he rests and get this card back so this is a pretty good card um, for for consuming and for infusing darkness um, whereas, you know, Terror Blade isn't doing that. But the move 4 is pretty great. As you've seen, we have kind of a hard time getting him to move because we have these two, like, move 6 abilities. Uh, there's one, here's another one. But they're both burned. So, most of the time, yeah, okay, I move 3 here, I move 3 there. And they both have some pretty great things that follow up. Uh, this one's a move 4. And then he gains disadvantage, uh, or all enemies targeting him are, t are attacking at disadvantage. Um, I think the Scoundrel probably has a pretty similar card. But the attack 3 and push 3 can really move an enemy that would be attacking him into the way of somebody else. So that they're going to be, that targeted enemy with this push will target one of the Night Shroud's allies instead of him as well. The one thing that I wish I could see here is just one way to 
either enhance this card or if it came with darkness, either consuming or infusing. And it's just not there. Hmm. I mean, that's why we have something like prepare for the kill, for instance, so that we can, um, we can infuse in either case. So it would be a good one to have on top of Terror Blade, for instance. Um, either move to and infuse, or attack to and infuse, and then we can we can use that in the following round. Uh, that would be using two very early cards, and that's just one example. Of course, there's going to be hundreds of other ones, depending on what cards you choose before and after. Um, Armor of the Knight still seems like a kind of good card. It's not very early, so it like 23 is is kind of mediocre for the early initiatives. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for Terror Blade on this one though. Even though it doesn't have infusing or consuming darkness and there's no way to actually get it either, I think it's still going to to work pretty well. Uh, the ability to to push an enemy three hexes away from him is going to help him with um, getting rid of that enemy that might target him soon. So let's go with this. I'm going to take some time here to, to figure out what card that's going to replace. But now let's take a look at his other, his perk point here. I almost want to start taking these now. Um, and I could continue to remove as well. Let me actually see really quickly. Maybe, yeah, he has one coming up soon. Consume dark 40 times, 8 more times, and he'll be getting another perk point. Um, let's see if there's another one. This one's going to take more time, but uses a kill ability 30 times. Wow, that's interesting. And those are his two perk points for for these uh, achievements. So let's actually... Whoops, I guess I would have to do this. Man, it's tough. Um, you know what? For for now, let's do this, and then we'll we'll start doing these when we get some pairs as well. Um, once he gets a little stronger, it's it is better to have these uh, these darkness confu uh, confusing. Oh man, yeah, I'm confused here. Um, infusing of darkness with these attack modifiers they're great i really like to have them as pairs but let's continue removing those negatives so when i do put these in it won't feel so uh uh so negative basically all right and this is still the uh those boots that i'm not going to i don't want to remove the the uh Whoops, almost did it. What is it? The, the exclamation point there. I want to keep that there. Um, okay, so we still have a perk point for the Mind Thief and the Summoner too. So let's check out the Mind Thief. It's just one. We could start to remove those zeros, and I'm kind of inclined to do that. It might be nice to put in a plus two, but I think to increase the chances, let's remove those four zeros. So now we have just one, well, essentially two negatives, three zeros, three ones, three twos, and then a times two and another two here. So four twos. Uh, so that's going to make her hit pretty hard more consistently. Summoner perk point. I think we wanted to go down this path. Uh, we've already taken consistency and intensify we might as well take infuse and then we'll finally when we take these three perk points eventually um she won't have she'll only have this one negative card in her attack modifiers and then we can really start adding those plus twos um 
we could probably add these in before the poison. Yeah, but I think for now, let's 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 continue. Let's use focus and start removing or continue removing these negatives from our deck. All right. Well, that's going to be it. I don't think there was anything at the merchant that I was interested in. Let's take a look at she's all filled up here, so we're, we don't need to do anything. Uh, one small item for the night shroud would be would be nice. A major mana potion could be could be it. The minor mana potion is we don't have any more of those unfortunately. Uh, he already has a minor stamina. I mean, in this way, he'd be able to to get. To infuse darkness when he can't on uh, because of his cards and infuse something like um, well light for the Sun Keeper or ice for the mind thief uh, so I think I'm gonna go that route let's purchase that give that to him I think that's gonna go a long way even if the night shroud and the Sun Keeper or the mind thief like it it doesn't matter who he's paired with it's going to help somebody and that's that's kind of what uh, i like about these mana potions uh the mind thief is pretty much all set there's some head items that we could well we can't afford them um the pendant of dark packs is really great for high level uh characters because they can take two of their consumed small items they do gain a curse, but this is pretty good for the Sun Keeper because she can attack with advantage um, and we can remove the curse in that way. So maybe if at some point when she gets another... Um, oh, that's right. It is a head item, though. That's the problem. Hmm. I guess I could see it being useful for the Summoner. I don't know, though. Because if the summoner has, you know, multiple enemy or multiple summons out, then they're going to go through her deck really fast, and one of them is just eventually going to pull it and get rid of it. Um, and it might not be, like, a key moment where somebody really needs to die. It's just one of those summons that, that dies instead of her, so... Well, we can't afford anything else. Let's get moving. Oh, before I go, though, yeah, so that's the problem, isn't it? So it says we have two enhancements here. I need to find them. Is this one of them? And then, of course, the problem is that I can't... I can't uh, afford it. So this is a strange bug. I'm wondering if it's just going to... I think the other one was right there, strengthen. This is strange, isn't it? I'm going to try and find a way to fix this, though. Okay, so I think I figured it out here. Um, I only needed to put one on. So I, I sold the summoner, one of the summoner's uh, expensive enhancement. I put cautious advance on, and then the other one just showed up. So I think the bug kind of fixes itself once you use an enhancement back on that character. I don't know if it shows up in the um, in the scenario without making this fix i would assume that it would but just to be safe let's let's fix it here so we'll i think uh i did fix the night shroud the mind thief and the summoner last time ah but i need to bring in this card too okay so i did it now i uh i just replaced i brought terror blade in and i dropped black knives i do like this ability but the bottom attack I'd like him to be more mobile rather than, you know, make an attack, make an attack kind of a thing. Um, I know that this bottom ability can go well with... Uh, where is that? There it is. Okay. So during your next four attack actions, perform move two as the first part of your attack action or of your action. 
And I still have this, but I haven't used it. I might have used it once or twice. I really love the top here. Um, making an attack and then going invisible. It's not a big attack, but, you know, once we start removing all those negatives, uh, negative modifiers, then it, it might become an attack two or three, you know what I mean? So Wings of Night, I know that this would be a great pair for that because then he could use the attack to move to first attack and then do something like attack three where then now he's going to move two again and then attack again so that's really what i see it being very useful for and i've used the top like once or twice before as well and that's pretty helpful um but honestly i because i haven't really been using it this ability the bottom ability here then I'm going to just drop Black Knives and um, and take Terror Blade instead. This is still going to go quite a long way. So, all right. So, my idea here is to do one of the um, to do one of these travel quests because I'm starting to get to a point where all of these other ones are locked because. Um, either they need to be at the right level or um, I need to unlock some of these uh, these new locations and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go toward this uh, Spellweaver personal quest and I need this one in order to do it uh, because it has the Sun Demon I figured bringing the Sun Keeper is a pretty good idea it has a Night Demon so keeping the Night Shroud in there is, is a good idea uh, these living spirits sometimes infuse ice. Uh, I'm going to repeat myself here, but ice is good for the mind thief now. Uh, so all three of the enemies will kind of help us eventually. And then the summoner, I'm just going to keep the summoner in. Honestly, I, I've been having some fun with it, uh, with her. And I kind of want to continue to play and, and, um, and learn and test out some of my ideas with her so we're going to faith of the faithless the cult has continued to thrive and now rule over this woodland community kill six cultists and elite cultists to win uh, we do get the plate mail design which is huge five shield ones um so over the over five attacks that's going to be pretty great uh, we do get some more experience, and then we unlock East Grove, which is what is needed for dealing with demons. Maybe we'll see this after, if we beat this one, of course. So, let's travel here. No encounters, that's good. The cultists have taken over an abandoned crypt over on the outskirts of East Grove. You have the local population terrified of the magic. Oh, and have, not you have, and have the local population terrified of their magic. You have been asked to take on the cultists and relieve the town. At midnight, under the cover of darkness, you head to the crypt and with the plan of catching the inhabitants unawares. Okay, well, we don't need to look at too much here, but I'm going to do it anyway, just to make sure, because I'm really bad about this. Okay, well, it looks like we're good, though. So let's enter the dungeon. The cavern is guarded by demons and spirits, but you must venture forth to help the inhabitants of East Grove. Okay. So it looks like we have this tiny room here, just a couple enemies that we should be able to take on pretty quickly. A big room and then another big room behind that. Um, we need to kill six cultists. I didn't even say that we had, we were fighting cultists, but, uh, well, this is round one, as always. Let's, uh, let's check out how we're going to tackle this first room. I'd like to be killing these enemies the, uh, fairly quickly, honestly. I, I think in two turns, if we haven't killed it, we're doing something wrong. Uh, because we really need to find these cultists quick, and I'd rather open this door, um... And be resting in here rather than uh, taking a rest before we open it. So I don't think that's really necessarily going to be the the problem here. Um, but yeah, 
I, I think I think we'll be fine, but in a couple turns, I'm hoping that's going to be the case. And we're going to start off with the Mind Thief at initiative of 8. We're going to immediately stun this guy. 1, 2, 3, yep, that's far enough. Uh, this plus 1, man, I, I have really thoroughly enjoyed this tiny, inexpensive um, enhancement. I think that's pretty huge. Uh, stun 2, or uh, range 2 for this stun is good anyway, you know, but to be able to start behind the front line and use it immediately is still really great. And then feedback loop, I just want to get this, uh, this shield ready. I was thinking of doing something else, maybe this one, but um, in this way we'll get this ready and then we can use this for the, for the next round. I have a, a, a way that she's going to get up the, to start moving up there. Uh, then we have the uh, Night Shroud. Sorry about that. Just <laughs> forgot what was going on. Uh, Doomed Breeze with the move and curse and then Terror Blade. One, two, three. Push this over to here. And that way we'll have both of them be attacking the Sun Keeper. Sunkeeper is going to go late with a, a stun and a movement. And my thought on this one is that the stun at 85 and the stun at 8, we can continuously stun this uh, sun demon. And I think that's going to work out pretty well. Then 98 with... Um, unending dominance just to go late and I kind of like starting off with this card because it's a card I know I'm not going to use before my next rest so I just you know I'm gonna use it and um, I mean I'm gonna start at 82 anyway so what's the difference really um, 82 to bring in the shadow wolves this time they have um, they both have shield and I think the Shadow Wolves are going to be able to help out with that. We should be able to take this one out pretty swiftly uh, with those Shadow Wolves. Of course, this is going to be a difficult thing be, uh, due to the fact that the Wolves um, are going to attack whoever has the highest, or the I guess the fastest initiative. Uh, but... If we can kind of trap them in a way, then we can figure out a way to force them or, or influence them to attack who we really want to, to attack. Okay, so they're going to be going in between. This is really the only one we have to worry about because this one's going to be stunned and then stunned again for the next round. So let's first start off with that stun. Any pluses would be great. It's not what's happening though. Uh, skip the attack. And I didn't think about this, but if this one was going to be using ice, that would have been a, kind of a problem. But Okay, now let's move up here. Hmm, actually, you know what? I wonder if, no, that's not enough. If I had move four, I could go right here and then push this way. And that would put it over here. And then we, you know, it's it's a pretty weak attack, but um, so it's not a, it's not bad that it's attacking the summoner at this point. But to move up to over here, push it this way, then we can put the wolves out, and it would be killing it uh, in the next round. So anyway, we we're not gonna be able to do that. Let's move over here. We'll curse it. That's gonna that's gonna help out in the future, and then an attack of three. We might as well curse it again. You know what? This might actually kill it. Yep. All right, fair enough. I mean, I, I kind of didn't even think about that, but uh, good work. We've added a couple more a couple curses to the monsters deck. Oh, but you know what? It's not. So this is strange. It wasn't alive to take the curse. Is this a thing in the in the board game? Does the curse follow the attack? 
never thought about that before but you can clearly see here that it didn't add a second curse to the monsters deck it's interesting i wonder if that's if that's correct and if it is correct then i just learned something new okay well uh let's move let's move beyond it and then we'll attack here for two we are going to use the jagged sword i think it's gonna help a little bit um i don't think I, like i said i'd like to kill this pretty quickly but any any little bit will will help out that's it for your turn the summoner you know it's already stunned i guess i might as well just put both of them right here Yeah, this is interesting, isn't it? What I might do is I could just put like both of them here and then have her attack and then move away maybe. The problem now, of course, as you can see, it's only three of us can stand here and there's four of us. And now we're going to have two wolves as well. So we might need to open this door pretty quickly before this one is dead and... So that, I, that's kind of okay. I'm fine with that. But I think what I'm going to do, since they have a movement of three, um, and do waypoint. I keep doing this, but uh, one, two, three. Oh, man. If I, I don't know if I want to put them here, but let's do this. Let's do this so that I can, I mean, get closer to the door, right? And then we'll summon, oh man, I should have, I totally forgot about the, uh, her hammer. Because that's going to help out quite a bit too. But I don't really want to put, like if I put this here, then it's just going to take its time to get there. Because I could use Lucky Eye and that could help out, but I'll, I'll use that when we walk into the next door. That's fine. I'm cool with this. So round two. And we're going first with the Sun Keeper with 23 for the shield and Daybreak to move two. Plus using her Boots of Striding for a movement of four. But I think I'm going to put her right here and just throw the shields up. Um, we can bless the Night Shroud from here instead of moving in and then losing that bless there so moving up to here kind of take control of the the door space and put up some shields this is going to help her quite a bit we do have the tower shield we also have chain mail um, and we also have the iron helmet and if we do get in trouble we can heal up quite a bit after uh, that is going to get her out of that spot so then there's three hexes next to the uh, elite sun demon one of those hexes is going to be the mine thief we're going to walk up and stun it again maybe i don't know if it's going to go earlier than 29 i was thinking of going later but i really want you know what let's let's go later my fear is that this ice is going to disappear um and it is a good fear but and I also want to take this hex. So one, two, three. But I think both of these are just going to move straight in. I don't think they're going to kind of curve around anyway. So, I mean, I know they're not going to. I think, you know, this one and this one. Maybe this, but that could force it. Oh, yeah, this could be a problem. Um, well, let's see here. That's That one doesn't have a number, so I think it'll go first. And this one has a number five next to it. Uh, so that one, I think it will go first, second. We won't know until after. So um, anyway, if it's not it's not too big of a deal. I just rather have her getting closer to the door rather than standing here or here, um, and then stun. I'm hoping that's going to work. These two should do quite a bit of work against that. 
Yeah, so we'll go later. Uh, so the summoner will go before her, before the mind thief. Tear the fabric. I don't think this is going to be too useful at the moment, and this one's not going to be very useful for now. And then wild animation. The thorn shooter, I'm going to put it right here. And that should be close enough to the door that it's going to help out immediately. Yeah. And then finally, the Night Shroud, and I believe the Night Shroud's actually going to go first because the second card is faster than the Mind Thieves. Um, but Spirit of the Night and Cloak of Shade, I'm, I'm wondering if they're going to, if there's going to be a Night Demon in this next room, if, if, big if here, if it infuses darkness i'll be able to either use it for going invisible or killing a normal enemy if i can get close enough there's a lot of ifs in this one but if it works out it's going to be huge either either or it doesn't matter either infusing or uh, going invisible or killing a normal enemy i don't think it's going to work but it's worth a shot and if it doesn't work the way i hope then I can just um, recover one of those cards with the minor stamina potion anyway. So it is a gamble, but let's see what happens. So 73, that means that it is going to be um, going before the, the Mind Thief, which is a good thing because then we'll be able to stun it again. And it's a move two, so if we do open this door and it is, uh, there's another one behind here. Maybe it's not close enough to the door that it's going to be hitting the uh, Sun Keeper for for five, an attack of five. So, all right, well, let's do this. Oops, yeah, I forgot about that. We'll move up to here. Confirm the movement. I want to see what's here. I could just move back if it's too bad. It is too bad. Okay, wow. So what's going to happen here? The cultist is going next. Move to and attack for two. We don't have to worry about that. Oh, there's even more over here. Jeez, I didn't even turn the camera. Um, there's another one over here. There's two. We don't have to worry about them for now. And they're not, they're they're consuming. Okay. And that's fine. Um, and they are going to be going first. So and then these, wow, okay, there's a lot of attacks coming in now. I think it's gonna be best if we have her back up. Because then only one of them is going to stand here, and then basically the rest of them. So it would be this one is going to stand here. And then uh, the rest of them are going to be kind of stuck back there. Yeah. So I'm okay with it. These are going to be attacking her. But an attack of three, an attack of two with shield two, it's not going to go too far. Let's look at the normal. So we have one normal here, one normal there, and a normal back there as well. Okay, well, we're going to back up here, pick up some coins too, that helps. Yeah, let's do it that way. Um, I am going to bless the Night Shroud. Let's have them working together, right? And then shield two. Okay, this one's going to hurt, but... Um, the other ones probably won't too much. I, I shouldn't say it's going to hurt. I have a lot of shield here, so I think we'll be fine, honestly. Yeah, it did do that. And it pulled that. Super. Okay. So it's doing exactly what I didn't want it to do. Strangely, you know, this one says, you can see over here, okay, right where my cursor is. Keep looking there, keep looking there. It says three for the level, Shadow Wolf five. Five is the number 
that's associated with it. So this one goes fifth if there's one, two, three, four, five, right? That one doesn't have a number. So I'd have no idea what that one is. And I don't know which order it's going to be in. Um, ideally, it would have a number there and it would be one, two. This five is kind of nonsense. Um, I hope they fix it for the actual game because it should say one, two. Like, have, have them go in order of uh, how they were summoned. That's that's really the way it should be. Okay, this is going to help out, though. Let's bring in another summon here. And, man, I would love to bring in this guy now, but it's, it's like, pointless to do it at the moment. And Lucky Eyes, too pointless. At, well, too pointless. Uh, we are basically just going to skip our turn here. I don't think there's a difference of me standing here or there. It doesn't really matter. So we're just going to stay right where we are. Oh, perfect. Yep, so nobody else can move. Except for these guys, of course. They have some ranged attacks. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Let's use the chainmail kind of first. Because I want it to. I want it to be exhausted by the time I rest. So I should use that one first. And then I can use the, the shield for like kind of a major attack. Oh, that's it. Okay. That's not too bad. That one's not going to do anything. Oh, that's right, because it's flying, it will try to find another place to stand. Because it could fly from here all the way to here. Um, or it could stand, it could stand, or fly, float, I guess, in any of these spaces. It doesn't matter if there's um, an obstacle or, or whatnot. So, okay, so we got basically nothing, and you're screwed. So I think what I'm going to do here is just attack with this. And then we can go early next time. Yeah. Yeah, we can go early next time. And I'll probably take this card back for the uh, going invisible. And then use this to jump over. And then we can really... I don't know if I like this idea, but we can find other ways of going invisible after and spend some time back there. Um, I do have the boots actually where I could jump again. So yeah, we'll see how this works, but let's, let's definitely attack. Sure, we'll use the poison dagger on it. Strange how that times two is better than a plus one. Honestly, it, it doesn't really matter, right? I guess we could just jump over now with our boots. Oops. We could jump over now and then go very early next time to go invisible. I have a big fear that they would be going earlier and just kill him. Uh, it is just that one. I guess there's another one back here, but earlier than seven. What are the chances, right? Well, it doesn't matter what the chances are. Um, it can happen, so. Let's. Let's. Um, I'm afraid of these guys starting to. Uh, summon, so I really want to hit them hard, don't I? So I think I'm going to jump over. I'm going to do it. It's going to kind of clear some spots here so that we can... Um, and I'm going to take this one back now, I think. Now, you know what? I'm I'm not, because, because he still has this one. So let's use... Th kind of like this and this oh no I need I do need that okay 
Yep, confirm action. That is what I'm doing, yes. Uh, we do want this one so that we can consume the darkness so that it's not uh, being used by them. Okay. Okay. And his turn. Now it's your turn. I'm going to move up to here. We could curse. I don't think that's a good idea, but... Actually, you know what we could do is this. Stand here and stun that one, and then just let these continue to attack there. Um, this one could kill one of them, obviously, but if done correctly, I mean, if if lucky, then, then we don't have to worry about it at all. Let's do this. I'm going to move up to here. Let me click there, please. Thank you. One, two, three, one. Yeah, I, I do need to use these boots, unfortunately, but that's fine. And let's stun the night demon so that we're not too in danger here. Skip that action because we want to use that with him. Uh, and I'm going to use this here. It's already poison, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but um, what am I doing here? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Forgot about her, uh, what is it, feedback loop. Uh, we don't have to worry about any of this other stuff. Minor stamina potion. I think I'm all set on that for now. Whew, okay. Well, we're at round three. I did open the door in round two. That one's still not dead, but I think it's under control enough. Um, and from here on, you know, we'll be able to kill this one pretty quickly now. And I'd, I'd really like maybe if, if I can use this to kill this one outright. I don't really like the idea of him taking all of these attacks, but if we could kill this one it would be pretty nice. Probably not. Let's see what happens. And first up is the Mind Thief at 5. Super early here. Uh, this is really for the for the card. The move 5, I'm not sure if it's going to be too useful. The, the main thing here is I want to attack with this wound and attack with this. I'm not going to do this. I kind of considered it. But this one would be attacking just this one. This normal living spirit would just attack here. And that wouldn't do anything. And this one, even though she can't reach it, would still only make an attack two against uh, this cultist. So none of them really are worth, uh, are, are, uh, have any worth to it. So I'm just going to use it to go early. We can make an attack and make an attack with this. If that doesn't seem to kill it, um, it will be wounded and maybe die before uh, it gets a turn anyway. Um, but something else will come up. So prepare for the kill to go as early as possible. We're going to use this and this to go invisible. Um, I am going to be bringing darkness back in, but I think I will be able to kind of keep this one from, from uh, using it by, I mean, using it against us. I think I'll be able to go, if I stand right here, then it's going to have a long way to come around here instead of, I guess it's a little bit further, but uh, yeah, you get the point. Uh, then 13, if the Mind Thief doesn't kill this uh, Night Demon immediately, then the, um, let's see here, the Thorn Shooter probably will, and I'll have it attack twice so we'll... Maybe attack here, maybe attack here, and then have it attack again. So depending on if this Night Demon is still alive will we'll dictate her turn. 13 just to go as early as possible so that not only am I thinking about the Thorn Shooter, but I'm also thinking about my uh, Shadow Wolves. And actually, no, I should do... I was thinking this would be nice, because one, two, three, right? But... 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I want to go early. That's the thing. Okay. So I'm going to go with that. Yeah, because I don't want this to kill one of my one of my pups. Then 39, Glorious Bolt and Practical Plans. I kind of don't know what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure my idea is attack for 5. If for some reason something is standing right here, then I'll be able to attack it. And then 1, 2, 3, maybe something else will move up. I don't know. I have no idea. If I'm thinking that the Sun Demon might be standing here. Or maybe something else. Yeah. I did it mostly because I didn't want to use Tactical Order yet. And uh, 39 seemed like an okay initiative. And it gives me an option if if I have the, uh, the ability to use this. Otherwise, I can just use it for move and then attack for 5. So and There it is. Sun Demon's going way too, way too early. God. Um, it is just an attack of three, and it is going to infuse darkness. Well, that, that frustrates me. All right. I knew it as soon as I chose the seven. Anyway, cultists, not a problem. Living spirits, they are going to be attacking for a bit more, but they are going to need to get a little closer. So I will, might, I might be able to use that. Um, sun demon... Looks like it's going to muddle themselves because I'll, I will be infusing darkness again. So that's something, but I'm not sure. I don't think this is going to come in uh, into play here. So the, the target all enemies kind of a thing. All right. Well, let's see if, um, oh, that one is stunned. Actually, I forgot. Okay. So it's not bad at all. We just received three damage there. That's fine. Let's now... Uh, we don't need to use that. Let's attack here. Great. So we'll probably end up... So that stun actually came in handy then. Alright. Oh yeah, confirm action. The stun actually came in handy. I was afraid that I'd be, you know, killing it too quickly. But you know what? It, it came in handy. And it worked out. Great. One down, and she now has two shield, so if something does attack her, I don't think so, but if something does, then uh, she'll be safe. Minor stamina potion. I don't think we need it. Nope. Let's go. Okay. All right. Well, do I I know these are these are just healing themselves for one. So I don't really feel like attacking them is a is a good idea. Maybe attacking here although it's muddled Yeah, although it's muddled, maybe we'll get something. We're now invisible. Great. Um, let's let's kind of move over here. Skip, and yeah, for the extra point. Okay, good. I was like, that's weird that it's not showing, but let's see these attacks. It's fantastic. So that one's dead now. There is going to be kind of a cluster here at this doorway, but um, if we can keep the doorway and kind of one or two of these spaces open, that's going to be great. Let's confirm this attack again. Um... Yeah, I'd like it to move, so I guess skip movement. And we only have that one enemy, so we'll have we'll have another attack on it. That's fine. I mean we're 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 cutting down on it. Um you know what would be really cool? 
I'm wondering if I brought her to like here. What are they? Oh, they're attacking for pretty pretty harsh amounts. I'm gonna say if I could bring her up here and then drop the hammer. Yeah, drop the hammer, right? Uh, bring bring it into here. That probably would have been a good idea to use for bonded might. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to use it now though. So unfortunately, I think what I'm am going to do one, two, three. I think what I might do is have her stand here though. Or I could stand here, you know, because that would keep this space open. And then the Sun Keeper is going to be moving in next. So if we're if we're holding these spaces, then the then our pups back here will be able to walk through. Um, and that's kind of my my thought there is, is I'd like to keep these. I don't really want to be standing in them because I want them to move through. But if we're just standing in a couple, then they'll they'll have a way to to kind of scurry on through us. Uh, so let's yeah let's actually let's move up here. Skip the rest of that movement. Now I could bring in the mountain ham or the uh, the warrior spirit. No, 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 no. Because I need her to move. Yeah, we only have this little bit here. So let's move up to here. And what I'm going to do is use the attack five on this guy here. Nice. Fantastic. So that one is dead. That's perfect. We now have this space and this space is open. Uh, that one's going to stay open for the most part. And we have some ways of, I think she still has one more. Yep. So I won't use the sun earring yet. These are going to hurt, but she has a lot of healing. Oh, never mind. Um, let's just use that. Now we can use this and we can heal and get the, those items back next for her next turn. Yeah. And that one's dead. Cool. Well, unfortunately we haven't, the, uh, the sun demons weren't able to infuse sun or light for us to use, but they are dead. I think um, that's a pretty good problem to have. Uh, the problem that we weren't able to, to use them to our benefit because they're dead. I'll take it. Round four. Doing pretty good here. I don't want to sound too excited. You know what happens when, uh, <laughs> when things start going our way. Uh, it's not for very long. So round four. Let's check it out. And we're going to be starting off with the Mind Thief at 11. I'm kind of giving her a little bit of options here with Empathetic Assault and Submissive Affliction. She might not need to move. We could just have them kind of attacking, have one attack another and then disarm another. Uh, that might be a good plan. We'll have to see. Otherwise, we could just use this to kind of move in with a move three and then attack for two. It's not very helpful because there's not there's not a lot of good options if she's standing here and there's zero options standing here. And I really don't want to get too much in the way for the for the doggos. So um, I'd really like it if I could just hang back here and I might just skip this all together. Let's see. Let's see what the options are. Uh, next up is the Night Shroud. He is going to be going earlier than I think would be, uh, I mean, maybe this is a bad idea, but what my th thought is, is I'd, I'd rather him using darkness than this guy getting a big hit on the uh, Sun Keeper. <clears throat> so I'm going to use it early and it's going to double the attack. And because we're invisible again, this is one of those really great combinations. Attack three plus two if you're invisible. So it's going to be an attack of five. Uh, sorry, yeah, well, yeah, five. 
times two because of this. So an attack of 10, if we get really lucky, that kills this guy outright. Can't imagine that's what's going to happen. But anyway, it will kind of help out to spread out some of the uh, the incoming damage that's going to be happening. If he was by, if he was, um, you know, uh, invisible, then all of them would be attacking the Sun Keeper and potentially the Mind Thief if I do bring her up here. So if that's the case, then the Sun Keeper or the um, Mind Thief would be in major trouble. So let's see. Um, next up, 25 with the Summoner. She's going to be doing an attack, but first I'm going to use this. I know this really isn't the best time to use it because we don't have anyone that's uh we don't have any summons that really need it but we can get three blessings into her deck and then we'll have her attack and that will be an attack of two maybe four if we pull one of those blessings right away um, that's not a lot of damage but it would kill this one outright and that's my that's kind of my thought is let's attack this one if I get a, a, a blessing, fantastic. There are a lot of cards in here, of course, so maybe that's not the case. But even if I pull this too, you know, that's going to be very helpful as well. Then 29, the two fastest cards, uh, for, not for any particular reason, but uh, Burning Flash and Hexical Order. I'm thinking that I'll be able to bring in one of the dogs. Uh, because they'll be standing right here and we'll be able to bring one of them in to kind of take one of the hits. It will be, um, it will have a shield if there is an attack against it. Uh, we'll see. Let's just see. <sighs> what a, what a pain! Of course, so it is attacking at attacking three and then going invisible and completely ruining my whole. <sighs> okay, um, then the summon or the uh, the cultist elite, the cultists are just attacking for two. But I yeah I don't think. Well, I guess they one of them could stand right here, couldn't they? Uh, the living spirits are going to curse. Yeah, okay. Well, we don't get any attacks, so maybe jumping in. You're kidding me. Yeah, maybe jumping in here is probably a good idea for the Mind Thief now. This is a lot of attacks, though. That's a problem. Disarming isn't going to be a necessary thing anymore. Um, so maybe moving up here. Yeah, the problem is there's no there's no targets. So, I think what I'm going to have to do here is just do something like this. I wonder, actually, this is a good idea. Can they target that because it's an enemy targeting it? Let's see here. I'm still going to have you do this anyway. Nope, that's not the case. It's an ally, so I was kind of hoping that you could target it because it was an ally. Um, an ally to this guy. So, it's... Targeting another enemy with you control. Oh, with me controlling the action. Okay, that makes more sense. Well, let's let's attack over here. I'm still going to have an attack of five. Uh, so let's let's see. Maybe maybe we can get something out of it. Just don't pull a curse. Minus one. Great. And undo. I'm wondering. I know, well, this isn't going to kill anybody, though. We could attack this one. But is that really worth it, you know? Uh, they're already... They're already going to be infusing ice, so I'm going to skip it. And, yeah, we still have okay cards back there, so we'll just... We won't take that. Man, I am really frustrated that that went so early and stole that right from me. Um, I kind of want to attack here instead now. 
and hope for a plus one. We have uh, we have some pretty terrible chances actually. Um, If we, if we pull a minus two, then it's nothing. If we pull a minus one, then it's only one attack. If we pull a zero, then that's what we get. A plus one, a times two, or a plus one and going back and invisible. That I mean, that invisibility would be pretty stellar right now. Because um, we're about to get a ton of curses. And then even there, they're going to be in the way too. Man, this is such a punk turn here. All right, I gotta, I gotta go for it. I think. Okay. Well, yeah. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo this. I'm gonna stay right where I am so that when the dogs come in, they're attacking them instead of the, um, instead of the uh, cultist. Because if I move back, then the cultist will move up, and because they go at 27, it would be attacking the cultist instead of one of them. So just stay right where you are. And then the thorn shooter can't see anybody. I'm actually considering standing here and then dropping um, the mountain spirit warrior spirit right here. Oh, but that would actually give her even more curses. No, we can't can't do that. These curses are going to be really, really rough. Um, another thing we could do is just heal her up. She is going to have a turn here soon, and she's not going to take any more attacks. Now, you know what? Let's let's do let's do it the way that I thought before. That's gonna put four blessings in her deck let's try to get one of those here nothing remember how excited I was how excited I was at the beginning of this uh, at the beginning of this round I probably should take another card back now. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the Minor Stamina Potion. And I'm going to take Earth and Steed back. No, Biting Wind, so we can have a couple heals. Uh, 25 is an okay um, initiative, and we'll have a basically heal 6. So... All right, end her turn. Well, there's that. That's something. Uh, we are going to use this. Oh, actually, that's perfect. We get to use that, and we'll use it to... Uh, we'll consume it. Or consume any, and then add a plus one to heal. And then... Um, And then we can infuse light with that. We are going to be healing her. Confirm. I mean, she's getting everything back. I'm not too worried about her at the moment. Uh, we're going to use... Is it worth using the Sun Earring now? Because she's probably going to just take a rest here soon. And we could use the super healing potion, which would boost her right up again. Because they're not going to be attacking now, but... You know what? Let's let's get everything. We're going to use this as well. 
we're just gonna get um, use the the sun earring that's gonna bring back the tower shield the jagged sword the boots of striding and the chain mail and it's going to heal her up as well now she's back to full not too worried right um, the room after this is still kind of big but okay so there's one two cultists here that means there's four cultists in this room wow okay well let's get one two three so if I do this one then that one will be able to move up the next round I mean either I guess if I do this one it's one two it would continue to hear anyway um, so let's use that there that way it's it's in their face for the next round I guess I was kind of expecting them to um, they better not be cursing this they are aren't they they shouldn't be able to see that one these two should not be able to see because that one looks like it didn't I don't understand man the the way that yeah they only took four which is oh you know what they might have actually put a cap on it this time so four five six seven eight yeah they did didn't they nine whoops nope let me see nine ten interesting interesting so they they finally put a cap on it um because it should be the cap is ten is it 10 or 12 I want to say it's like 12 sounds like the right number but it could be it, it probably is 10 all right anyway they they finally put a cap on it that probably means they put a cap on the blessings as well I'm not gonna be able to see that though am I no okay anyway round five let's see how this one goes Oh, this one was pretty easy I kind of forgot everybody just has two or three cards so uh, we're just gonna go as early as we possibly can with everybody uh, dancing shadows this will be able to get us to jump over and I mean we could actually just go invisible but I'd, I'd really like to be able to jump over because um, I don't I kind of want to open up this space so that the other wolf has somewhere else to go this jerk here moved up actually I think there's yeah there's an obstacle there okay that's that's why okay 14 we're looking at into the night and silent scream for the mind thief I have no idea don't know how this is gonna work we're just gonna see how it works biting wind and unwavering hand that's a lot of healing I'm not sure if I need it anymore because she just healed right up um, and then Sunkeeper at 55 using both of the hammer blow and defensive stance will be able to use light unless this punk here uses it again and just like muddles himself or something um, but let's try to I guess I want to go late with her so that the night demon stops being invisible yeah we'll see how that works night demons going at 22 that's good um, the cultists are going to be healing that's very bad and then I need to be using the ice so that we don't get stunned that's a lot of stun in there so yeah so I think what I need to do here one two three I think it's best if we kind of jump over them so that I open up another space for the mind thief 
to walk up and then kind of push one of them away. That might be a good idea. And that way we're using ice. We need to be using ice before it gets to them. That stun is going to be pretty devastating, I think. Um, he doesn't have his winged shoes, so I have to use Dancing Shadows to do it. And I think what I'm going to do is... I think... I don't really know the best place to go, but... Let's just jump over, actually, I'm going to jump over here, confirm, skip the rest of that, and we're just going to attack this one. I know they're going to heal right back up again, but maybe they'll heal themselves instead. Sure, move over here after. All right. Yeah, move up to here. Confirm the movement. And then we're going to consume ice. I know this really isn't that useful, but in this way we can um, uh, make some space for for the wolves to continue moving up. I guess I'm just gonna push you Yeah, sure way back there Oh target all enemies oh, Right right right. I don't really want to push you away because I'd like for you to to kill that one but one two three I don't think it's really going to matter, though, is it? Uh, clear targets. Let's just skip the action. We could go invisible. Well, let's, let's loot. There's really no reason to do anything else. Like, attacking for two is just going to be useless. Um, I don't think going invisible is the greatest idea. But this one is going to move back and then attack her. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't know what else to do, though. Um, I mean, if they all attack... I guess let's just do it. We'll take one of those attacks. Because I don't want them all to be attacking uh, the Sun Keeper right after she just got healed. I mean, I guess I should know that that's what's going to be happening now. We have a lot of that happening. That's good. We've done something. Uh, the summoner. I really don't know what to do. Healing isn't really all that necessary. It looks like probably the dogs are going to just be dying anyway. Um, there's nowhere to stand to bring in the uh, that mountain spirit. And attacking, I guess we could make an attack here or here. That might be a good idea actually. Uh, this one's going to attack for three. That one's already... Yeah, that one's already attacked. Let's go for this one. I mean, come on. What are the chances? Okay. I was asking what are the chances for one of her many um, uh, curses. And if I attacked here, probably pretty good chances. Um... Let's see here. I'm going to take this one. No. I'm going to take this one. And I'm just going to move it away to open up a little bit of space here. End your turn. Who's it targeting? Probably you. Oh, no! 
And then just targeting yourself, probably. Yeah. Well, okay. Here's what we're going to have to do with that. I'm going to use this and attack here. And use the Jagged Sword. Come on, please. Maybe I need to do this one instead. But I really need to do something about this. She does have a curse, so yeah. That's what I'm going to have to do here. Um, undo, undo, undo. So let's move... Let's move to here, I think. And that will... That will kind of open up more space here. Um, yep. That way this space is open as well. Skip the rest of the movement. Now let's attack here. And pretty good chances of killing it outright now. Yep. Let's go for it. Oh, and it was still zero. So if I had used the sword... Yeah, I thought about it, but I was really hoping for a plus one and anything. But of course, I got a minus two and the zero, so. All right, anyway, we'll move on. Good. Happy to see them pulling curses. Ooh, they had some curses in their deck, and that's why... Yeah, yikes. Okay, that's it. Just a couple attacks. We did kill one of them. Uh, the problem here now, of course, is we're going to be taking some long rests. Um, invisibility probably would be pretty helpful now, but I, we do have a good kind of barrier here, so I'd feel kind of safe with this. Yep. Uh, you as well. Let's take that long rest. You are kind of in a weird position, aren't you? But I do want to take that long rest. Let's do it. These guys won't attack for very much. And then you long rest. Okay. So let's let's see how this works. We do have some things to make some attacks and take some attacks. So let's see how it works out. Yeah, not too, not too scary. Uh, this isn't too scary. This one's pretty rough. <sighs> Very rough. And it looks like it's probably going to kill one of the dogs. That's fine. I'll allow it. Nothing. Yeah, a couple damage. We'll be healing that back, though. Okay, okay. Times two, that's rough. Man, the whole reason I want them here is for all these shields. But they did kind of their part. It's all right. Uh, I'm going to go through... I'm going to go through these off camera, I think. Uh, so I'll be back. Okay, so... Round seven, I'll, as usual, just show what I dropped. I dropped the uh, feedback loop. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be too useful. I, I kind of like the, uh, the gain shield. It, it's helpful, but I don't use her in that way anymore. I might just get rid of it. The thing is, is I really like the, uh, the move forward with jump, even though I don't use it for its kind of more powerful ability. Um, I think it's still pretty helpful to to have a jump, but what I could do is pay 50 gold, you know, and put it on something like, I mean, putting it here would be helpful. Um, putting it here would be really helpful, honestly, and I think I might do that. Uh, it would be pretty expensive. It wouldn't be 50 anymore because it's a level 4. So I'll, I'll consider this if I can save up the money. Um, if not, then I guess this is a level 3 as well. Yeah, I don't know. I could actually drop...
feedback loop and bring scurry back and put jump i really like jump on scurry uh, uh, it's a move three with a jump and then attack one um the scurry card that is and i put jump on it because i feel like you can jump over the enemy you know make an attack and then into the night is go invisible behind the enemies um behind the enemy's kind of front line, the melee line, so it's kind of helpful. Anyway, next is nine with the Night Shroud, Dancing Shadow. I might use this, I might not, depending on what the enemies are going to do, uh, but it is going to infuse darkness if, for instance, they are, whoops, if he's going to be using darkness, then I just won't do it. And then Wings of Night, attack one and go invisible. That'll be helpful. Earthen Steed for Summoner. And then Bonded Might. I'm going to use this to jump kind of over here. To get out of the way so that this can continue to move in uh, once this dies. That is going to have an attack. Bonded Might to have attack again. And then uh, jump out of the way. That's kind of my thought there. We'll see if it works. Whoops, I guess I didn't really look at this one. Mind Thief is at 8. I'm going to stun somebody. Maybe you, maybe you. We'll see what they're going to do. And then summon in the giant rat. Um, and then 20 with the Sun Keeper going as early as possible. All attacks targeting you or any ally within range 4 uh, of you gain disadvantage this round. It's also going to infuse light. And then stun one of them. All right. So we'll have a couple of them stunned. That should be pretty helpful. Uh, you are going later. I don't want you to curse yourself by using my light that I just... I want to use it for myself. This is a this is a major problem. So we're going to want to stun them. Hmm. Honestly, I don't think we're going to be able to. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see how we're gonna do this. One thing we could do here is Well, we want to stun you, but we could stun you. How far are you going to be able to move? Well, if I have you move then you're not going to bring in light And if I don't have you move then you're bringing in light um, That means I need to stun you and then stun you But one, two, three, four. Okay, I got it. I got it. Here we go. So we're going to stun here. Yep. Man. These are super, super annoying. And then let's summon in that giant rat. What are they doing? They're attacking, but they're probably going to be attacking her for the most part. Um, let's bring this, the giant rat right here. I don't think either of these, I mean, major stamina potion could be helpful in order to bring perverse edge back and use it as another stun. I don't think I need to though. Um, but this round before I rest, I would like to use it because I have an odd number of cards in my hand. So I think I'm going to pass on it for now. You, my friend. We are going to make an attack here. Here? Or this one? You know what? Let's, let's clear it. Let's attack this one with both of my knives, my daggers here. The poison dagger, the black knife will curse and poison and go invisible <laughs> see how useless this is all right confirm action now we go invisible again great we're going to use this i kind of forgot that um i mean since he's uh since this night demon is cursed that was my my major concern um but i know no attacks are going to be targeting him anyway, but I want to use it to infuse darkness. Oh man. Yeah, this was my, my thought here was that I could be using this, uh, confirm the target 
to kill this one now. I guess I'll move it over here so it can see around the corner a little bit better, but let's continue to attack there. Perfect. Okay, that one's dead. That's great. And... Here's my plan. I could stand right here, but I think what I'm going to do actually is stand here. And then summon that one right there. That way, this one, this one can't summon anywhere because there's no empty space. So I've controlled that one. And this one's going to be stunned by the uh, Sun Keeper here next. That way we don't have to deal with any... Um, I'm going to save the Jagged Sword and maybe use it against one of them instead, I think. Um, yeah, okay. So, yeah. Target here. Ooh, a times two. Great. I'll take it. And it's stunned. Let's use this. So, when they attack, they're both attacking her. And we have light. We have darkness. And we have ice. So, we'll have a nice... Uh, turn next round. Great. That's what I want to be seeing. And we can completely mitigate that. I'm, I'm cool with using the shield right away. Now that one does take damage even though it did not summon. I don't know how I feel about that, but hey, I it's part of the game, and I enjoy it when it happens, so. Okay, well, we're back. We're a little bit back here. We'll see how this works. Uh, let's go with, well, we're in round eight now. Let's see how we are going to control them now. Okay. Up first, Mind Thief. Kind of repetitive here, uh, but going at five with Cranium Overload for the movement, and then Frigid Apparition for the stun. We'll just have to see who that target is. 13 for the Night Shroud, with Cloak of Shade to move and go invisible, and then Silent Force to make that major attack. Um, I didn't explain the cards that I dropped, but Empowering Void would be a good one to have right now. Uh, but I dropped it because, you know, this is kind of the first one that I'm going to be dropping. I, I think I've done it a lot in the past. And there's good reason to, but there is there is a good reason to keep it. A lot of these other ones are, are kind of ones that I want to use. Um, although this one has a lot of utility, uh, the other ones are, are kind of ones that I use more often. So Next up is the Summoner at 25 Biting Wind for the attack, and Forged Ferocity for the uh, Blessings and the Shield on, uh, particularly on the Warrior Spirit, but also on the Giant Rat. That's also going to put a Blessing into the Mind Thief's hand, or Modifier deck, uh, to kind of counteract a little bit of these curses that we're, we seem to be getting here. Um... Yeah. Then at 29, tactical order with, for the Sun Keeper for the movement and defensive stance. I mean, I could have gone with a cautious advance for movement to go slightly earlier, but. Um, and I don't really need to move, but this is kind of. I'd like to keep it for this rather than uh, the movement. And then defensive stance for that uh, advantage attack. We'll see what, what the, who the target is. Cultist Elites. Oh, man. They're actually... If they die, then they attack us for four. And then the Living Spirits are going to curse again. That's... Ooh, okay. Actually, if we would have killed it now, then that would have been fine. Um, let's, let's make sure that these guys aren't cursing. 
this is kind of annoying so actually I think what I'm gonna do is we'll be able to attack both of them so let's move back here that is adjacent yes okay and we'll use this now and if we by chance kill it great if not so be it nope but it's cursed or i'm sorry it's not cursed it's uh it's stunned which is good enough and i don't see a reason for this yet so i'm gonna, I'm gonna continue on all right So they're attacking our summons, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Um, the problem here is now they've activated this attack four. So I don't want to, I wanted to attack here, but that's not what I want to do now. Man, that is annoying. I think what I'm going to have to do here is use my boots to jump over here and then attack there. And try and kill this one. This is tricky because I don't I don't want either of them to die right now. And of course that's the one that they pull because that's what I didn't want them to pull. So I think what I'm going to do here is move to here. We'll skip the rest. We will stay invisible. <laughs> and then I pull a Pinus too anyway. God, this game. Yeah. That's fine. I keep chipping away at them, but um let's see here. Actually, undo. Let's do this now. Like it's too it's too late now, but uh I will be able to attack here. Uh, keep chipping away that's fine and now let's let's finally kill this thing huh there we go I really want to be standing here of course it won't let me um, so we're just gonna skip the movement and next turn we'll be able to um, well, we, we stopped a lot of curses from happening, but um, now we'll be able to kill them unless they pull that card again. So let's see. Let's hope not, but let's see what's going to happen. Once again, Mind Thief going at 14 into the night to loot and submissive affliction to, uh, to make probably this guy attack there. Does it have the range? It, it does have the range. So maybe to make this attack... Um, if not, we can just move, but if for some reason this guy's still alive after the um, the giant rat attacks, then yeah, then so be it, I guess. I, I don't know. I guess the giant rat might kill it, then I don't have anything to do. We can just move away. That's I'm fine with that. Um, then 17 for the Night Shroud, Terror Blade for the attack three and prepare to kill for the move and infusing darkness again. The summoner at 41 with, yep, these two cards. That's about it. Um, and she's going to be going at 51 with burning flash to use that earth again and heal I don't know. I guess one of these summons. And practical plans for an attack of five. Um, yeah. I don't even know if that's really going to be necessary, honestly. 
maybe I should do something else. Maybe I'll do this instead. There we go. A little bit of an audible. We'll heal and heal. And we can even strengthen somebody. And well, actually, that's kind of annoying or kind of redundant. We'd be using it twice. I don't really know what else to use, though. We'll go for it. See what happens. No, I don't want to use it. All right. Daybreak. Okay. What happened here? And maybe I clicked. And selection. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to heal. So that's kind of annoying. Let's try and take care of it before that, though. Yep. There it goes. So that one's dead. <laughs> um, what we could do... You know what, I'm still just going to do this, and I'm going to use the move instead, because there's nothing... This one would have a range of plus zero, so the range is four, one, two, three, four, it's not close enough, so let's just move away. Whoops, undo. Um, that might not be... That's not worth it. Let's just move to here. That's fine. Um, I'm going to stick with these cards for now and figure out which card I want with a pair after or for the next round. I think here I'm going to attack right here. It might not work, but... It was worth a shot. I'll push it there. Okay. Now it's your turn. Hey, there we go. Finally. Took that one out. Yeah, I think you, uh, I think you pissed him off. Or maybe it's a her. I, I don't know. It's a warrior spirit. It's a spirit, so I don't know what to say. And for you, yeah, I mean, there's really nothing to do. Um, there's no reason to do this. There's no reason to get cards back. She only has two burned cards. I could just use this. It's not going to do anything except for give her... Well... Yeah, I don't really want to pin pin this in with with that. So we'll just use this to get the extra uh, point here. I didn't really think this she was gonna do anything. So um, and then we'll attack nothing. But now it's your turn, so we can move up with you and make an attack. I mean, I was, I know this is like completely opposite to what I said, but we might as well just um, kill it now, right? Do we? Um, what's he going to do next? So we could actually, let's do this, and we'll heal him up. Um, yeah, I guess. I kind of wish I brought that other healing in now. Was, wasn't there another heal? Yeah, this one. But I was afraid of using two to, to infuse two lights. And I thought that'd be a waste, but honestly, it probably would be pretty helpful to heal both of them up. And she's not moving anyway, so. Oh well. Live and learn. And we're just going to skip this attack. Because he'll be able... Uh, the Our spirit here will just kill it outright next turn anyway, so. Um, 
Yep, so we're just going to take, I guess we'd take a long rest, because she has less cards, so that's probably fine. Let's use this, and... Yeah, this is the problem, right? Because if, if I go early, then the rat's going to go up and attack. And that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. But one, two, three, four. What we could do, actually, is like charge into here. And then go invisible with our Cloak of Invisibility. And I kind of like this idea. That does mean we... Well, no, I guess we could go this way if, if the cultist doesn't die. Um, if that's what we're going to do, let's go late with this. And what I might do is that. And then make an attack. I don't think this is like the greatest idea. I don't want to burn this card, but... Um, there's somebody was just talking about this in a previous episode um, in the comment section and you know there's no balance or maybe this is the way it's balanced but there's there's very little in the way of normal enemies on a uh, for each scenario when there's four um, when there's four characters and yeah it's it's kind of it kind of makes those kill one normal enemy cards uh near useless because we don't have any targets so anyway let's let's use practical plans and hammer blow i want to go a little late it's not too late but i'll use this to kind of one, two, three, four, five, and maybe we'll have a target. Yeah, maybe. Oh, she does have these boots of striding too. We'll see if there's a target for her when um, when the mind thief goes in. Yeah, you're. I'm hoping you're dead before. You get that opportunity. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, let's go in here. So it's one, two, three, four. We get two more. Yeah, look at this. Elite, 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 elite. There's only one normal. That's what I'm talking about. This is like it I don't I don't think that they're actually trying to balance for this one card. There's no way. What they've basically done for this digital uh campaign or the, the guildmaster campaign or I don't know, is uh when you have four characters, everyone's elite. So basically characters such as um this guy, the scoundrel and the the night shroud, they're they're more or they're weaker when there's four characters, and I feel like that would be the total opposite. They should be more they should be stronger with four characters. So I'm just gonna complain every time about this. <laughs> I know this is gonna be going away. Um, all right, here are the. Here are where the last of the cultists reside. Kill them, and the creature should dissipate. Oh, okay, right. We only have to kill them. Yeah, how are we going to get from here to here to kill these guys without going through them first? Kill them, and the creature should dissipate. Well, we're going to go in. Let's see what they're doing. They're just going to move two. So if I kind of get in the way of this one... What are they doing? Moving five. So you're dead. Unless I stay right where I am. What are they doing? I don't think it matters. I think uh, if I if I go here or if I go in here, it doesn't matter. Either they're going in and you're dead 
or they're going to kill you with, or they're going to kill you. So I guess it doesn't really matter here. Um, he's probably pretty much dead. So. Unless they can't reach. No, they can reach. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they can reach way back there. And if I don't stand here, then all of these guys are going to be jumping in. Uh, 56 is probably good that you stay blocking the door so that one, two, three, four, five, so that she can move in after. Ah, this is annoying. So we'll skip her movement. You can heal. I wanted to attack with her, but um, I guess we'll just uh, skip the attack. We'll have that ready for next time. And we're going invisible. I mean, it is what it is, right? <laughs> this is going to help us quite a bit. They're not going to move. And uh, they're not going to move. All of them will move. Um, and then we can kind of move. Actually, they're going to be attacking her, more, most likely. Um, yep. All right. We do want to take a card. So, maybe we take Perverse Edge, or we could even take um, Into the Night to stay invisible. I don't know if that's really a good idea. I kind of like the Perverse Edge, but then we're not really attacking anybody either. I mean, honestly, what I want to be doing is is attacking with melee because I have mine's weakness out. So, are they bringing in ice? They are not. All right. Well... I'll bring in Submissive Affliction. Maybe there's something else we can do with it. That is so annoying. I really just want to attack that, but, um, okay. I think what we're going to do is just go as far in here as possible so that maybe we could just go for that and try and kill it now. I'm afraid of pulling two of those. So let's just go here. And then we're going to attack with advantage against you. We'll use the Jagged Sword. She does have a... She does have a breast coming up, so let's use it. I know that they can heal, but... Hey, look at that. We got rid of one of our curses. And have got rolled a... Or pull the plus two. That's fantastic. This does save them. Not sure I feel good about it. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Um, yeah, here's the next thing. Am I going to burn a card to come in here? Because that's the only one that I could kill with that, right? Um, 
and then moving up to here really doesn't do much. I mean, I guess I here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run up to here. Instead of going in there and being in trouble, let's curse you. And now kill you. Okay, I don't, that was just, come on, like this camera, this camera crap, I really, I want an option here to say, don't go to the, um, don't snap to, because the snapping is just, is just all over the place. So, all right, if you can hear my uh, frustration now <laughs> with, with the game. The curses. Yep. Holding back my curses. That's a useless card. Because I'm never seeing any uh, enough normal enemies. Round 11. Well, I'm hoping that uh, she can make it through this. But... Um, yeah, shield two, and then maybe I'll even be burning this card just so I can stun somebody. And then going at 73, I mean, you're, she's screwed, isn't she? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think charging in with, with the Sun Keeper was a poor choice, but... I really wanted to kill this one and then move on was kind of my thought, but all right. Um, 73 with the Mind Thief. Because you're invisible, I'm going to go 48 to help out a little bit. I don't know how much that's going to help, but maybe I'll be able to um, reduce some of this incoming damage. God, and then there's this to worry about too. Um... Ninety-eight, ninety-six for the summoner, moving in and summoning in this iron beast. I don't even know if it's worth it though. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> Bear with me here. Uh, I'm thinking I could use this to bring him, like, if it goes here, and then I can have it move again, but I still don't, I guess it would go here, and then it could attack there. Instead of bringing in, maybe I'll do it that way. And we'll go at 61 to just kind of help out a little bit. I don't know what this is going to do, but... And then long rest for the Night Shroud. This is probably a mistake. Um, now that I'm saying it out loud, <laughs> I think I need, I need you to come in for this reason. Okay. I think I'm fine with it, uh, because I need to use it before they do. So let's do this and I'll even go, I'll go as early as possible to burn it, consume it, go invisible and then run somewhere where maybe I can start making some attacks back here. That would be one, two, three, one, two, three. And then maybe make a, an invisible attack against one of these guys. I don't know. That's what we're doing. So the night, shra or the, the night demons are going at 15. They are going to consume whatever's here and make it dark, but I'm going to get rid of it first. So that's good. They are going to be summoning, man. And the living spirits are just going to be doing some damage. This is what happens when you uh, get happy about <laughs> about your progress in this scenario. Let's go invisible.
I guess there's no reason to... I mean, I guess I could attack that one. I don't see a real reason to. Like, I could stand right here and attack this one. Or try and kill this one as soon as possible. I mean, we're all going before it. But it might be in our advantage to try to kill it now. Yeah, let's confirm this one. And just try to chip away at it as fast as possible so that it's not going to... Um, good these are nasty nasty attacks and then there's this too that helped that I guess oh good I can't believe it <laughs> great okay so here's what we're gonna do we're going to shield up I could have healed could have healed but I really need the shield because they are attacking for three, three, and three. So I think what I need to do here is stun one of them. This means that I'm getting rid of a heal, which isn't really great. And it puts her back further here, even worse. So no, undo that. Undo that idea. We're just going to skip the movement and hang out right here as far as I can go with her. Well, I do need to move in. Because if I don't move, then Warrior Spirit here is not going to move in. And then I, this makes that whole thing useless as well. So... I think what I do is move to here. That's right. My thought was to kind of help her out a little bit. So I could move up to here. That might help for now. That's the thing is like, how much longer does she have? Um, that's it. She needs to rest. And I'd really like it if she could long rest, honestly. Um... Well, we could do this. That's going to get one of them to attack her instead, and then we'll have two attacking her. Is that really a good idea, though? I mean, this push is pretty much useless. Um, do I move up to here? Because I want to attack. It's just going to be for two. I'm probably going to attack this one. And we do have a couple. Like, we do have a bunch of these plus twos. So this might actually be okay. But it's not going to do much to them. Well, if I do this, then two of them are attacking her. So I'm not going to do it. Skip movement. We'll attack here. Oh, whoops. Skip push. Skip action. And attack. Oh, that's right. It's two plus two because of that. So come on, baby. Hey! <laughs> you did it. You pulled two plus... Well, you pulled a plus two and a times two. So that times two worked out in our favor. Oh, man. We have to burn two two cards here. I don't want to burn that one. I'll burn this one and I 
than that one. All right, I'm okay with burning those. Not, not really happy about it, but yeah. Thanks. Okay, so here we go. Please. Well, it's completely surrounded anyway, so even if it doesn't die now. Actually, we could use it to attack here instead. But I'm kind of okay with that because this actually, never mind. This one's dead anyway. It's going to take one damage. Then it's going to try to summon. Can't go here, 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 or there because that's not empty either. And then it's going to take two damage so it's dead. So we're going to attack this one. And then you can, yeah, let's let's kind of jump up in here, please. Um, strengthen yourself and all adjacent allies. That would only be these two. But it could be very helpful if, yeah, you need to rest. Uh, you don't need to rest. And strengthening against this one, yeah, it's not really worth it. I haven't found the, the opportunity for that to be worth it. Um, yep, that one died. See, it's funny that it doesn't snap to this, but it snaps all, all the other times when it's kind of a poor time to snap. Weird. I do not know what to do here. We need the long rest to get her gear back. But I can't long rest. You need to long rest. Alright. I'm going to have to think about this. Oh, great. Okay, well. Round 12, we're looking at the Mind Thief going first with Perverse Edge to stun and Silent Scream to start healing as well. I guess we can attack here. And we'll stun somebody else. Not sure how that's going to work. We'll see. I did actually get rid of her uh, mind's weakness so that I could have an extra card in her hand um, until we need to rest again. So uh, we'll take Silent Scream for now. That's going to help out at least for a little while. Then Summoner going as early as possible. Earthen Steed again. I mean, this is this is really a good card. I, I do appreciate it. I'm not going to be using it, but mostly just for the 13 and Biting Wind. This way we can, you know, you can attack. We can kind of move back here, maybe attack again. We need to kill this guy. I'm most worried about the Night Demons than pretty much any of these other ones because it takes a lot of energy to kill it, and they can hit like a truck. So... Let's focus on, on killing this one for now. Cautious Advance for the Sun Keeper and Defensive Stance. Let's get three shield up. Maybe that's going to help. I mean, I could actually... I was looking at this to heal up as well. Maybe that's a good idea. We'll go with Burning Flash and Cautious Advance. That way we can... Um, I don't really like it though, you know? I th I'm going to continue with this. Because I really like to use this for the top ability. Attack 4, target all adjacent enemies. And then just have her go out with, uh, <laughs> with a punch. Maybe stand somewhere like here or here. And just try and attack and deal as much damage as possible to these guys. And then just die. I don't... Honestly, we were doing really well at the beginning. And then we kind of got screwed right here, I think. Um, and then opening this door, I made the mistake of bringing the Sun Keeper in too far. And you can see, that was a very painful mistake. As you can see here, one health again. So, um, yeah. I don't know if this is going to be enough to keep her alive. But we're just going to have to go with it. I don't know. That's the thing is, 
heal three, I don't see it being much, you know. So we'll do it this way for now. And we're going to kind of move a couple guys out here to, to be targets instead of her. Night Shroud is one of them with Silent Force at 91 and Terror Blade. We're going to move four. I wanted this mostly for the move four than, than the uh, bottom, the, the action here. And that's because I want to get back here, but I want to keep Doomed Breeze to move earlier out of there for the next round. So, I mean, honestly, 15, 17, is there a big difference there? We could be moving up and cursing as well. Let's do it. We're going to move up, curse and make an attack of five and he still has this too all right well okay well the cultists aren't doing much the living spirits attack two that's not bad night demons are attacking two and the living bones are attacking two she might have a chance as long as they don't pull something too crazy she might have a chance and actually, before we do this, let's... Yeah, I'm going to use the Poison Dagger here. Let's make this attack. You gotta be kidding! How many times? Um, and then we're going to heal her up. That is you, okay. So a little bit of heal, two more health. So if one of them does pull a plus one, that will save her. Actually, they're all attacking before. How great is that? So let's, let's stun the one that's going to be attacking, or one of them that's going to attack you. Yeah, come on, come on. Good hit. It's not, it's not, uh, not really enough, but... You know what I might do here is heal and punch. I think that's probably the best idea. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, okay. It looks as if we've saved her. It looks that way. Don't get too excited. Okay. All right. What's up next here? We have the living bones are going to be moving up. Um, with three. One, two, yep. Actually, stand right here and hit both of them. You can do the same. You can do the same. Maybe one of you are going to stand right in the middle and hit, I don't know, hit as many people as you want. Uh, let's get this going. Something that I could do to save her is move up to like here, and then they'll all attack her, just just attacking her. But um, I think this is worth it. This way, she has even better chances of surviving. It is burning another card. She doesn't need the movement at this point. So yeah, I think it's gonna work out all all right now that is of course if the mind thief can survive this too great yeah you're gonna move right in the middle here two and who else are you attacking okay good Here's the question. Do I try to hit this or do I really try to kill? He still has one more curse and I know that's what's going to happen. Um, or do I try to kill one of these? Because really attacking this right now isn't going to kill it. It gets us closer to our goal, 
but it's not going to kill it. Killing some of these guys, I mean, the, the living bones are going to be a pain, but I feel like the best choice we have right now is going for something like this. Well, let's go this way anyway, and we'll curse. Because if I can pull a plus one out, you're dead. And our chances... Okay, okay. That's going to help quite a bit. I know that's not a huge deal, but it is going to help out quite a bit. Particularly for keeping her alive a little bit longer. Uh, do we want to use this? And I think the answer to that is yes. Kill a normal... Oh, I guess we could be killing these normals. Um, with our things. You know what would be great is getting that card for her now. And I think that's actually in her burned... I think she burned it. Did she? No, she did it. Wait, nope. Wait, wait, wait. Yep, she did. Uh, I did burn this for her during a long rest, I think. Uh, kill all normal adjacent enemies. This would be perfect. Stand right here and just kill them all. Yes. Um, do I want to use this now? I mean, I think the answer to that is yes. Uh, we can get light. Well, would we need light? I guess we could use light for this. Uh, let's do it. We're going to use for darkness and for light. Round 13. Just going way too late. This one might be a good one for this kind of situation. Yeah. Okay, well, round 13. Let's go. And we're starting off with the Night Shroud at 17 with Terror Blade and Spirit of the Night. Probably kill one of these guys off. And um, I'm hoping to kind of tank a few shots that's going to help keep the Sun Keeper alive, but they'll be attacking him with disadvantage, so that should help. The Mind Thief at 29, this way we can attack and attack. We can stun with one of those attacks um, and wound with another. And uh, because we have Silent Scream up, we can heal and heal. That'll be four heal, pretty helpful for both of them, honestly. And then Sun Keeper with, unfortunately, the two fastest cards she had, but we can heal up a little bit and then make an attack with advantage. And then 61 for the Summoner, Bonded Might, and Unending Dominance. Uh, this is kind of, you know, let's get this guy to attack twice, maybe. And then we'll get four, our four cards back. I really want to get this back. So if we are in need of it in a situation like this again, that um, we can like get go early, jump into the bad situation, kill them all, and we don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, that sounds that sounds right. Um, I want to read this again. So it says whose current hit point value is less than or equal to five. Yeah, so this is perfect for this situation here. We'll be able to take care of most of these this round anyway, but um, if it does happen again, then we'll have we'll have it. Uh, we can be ready for it. All right. Cultists aren't doing too much. The living spirits are. Oh god, and the living bones aren't even moving. So we need to get away from them quick, because these are some pretty nasty attacks. Um, living spirits are going to attack two of us with a range three attack three we'll see what we can do about it 
Um, you know, something we could do here is attack three and push three and push it like way back in this corner. I know that's not like, I know it's not great, but it does get them away from us so we can deal with a lot of this. I know they're not really attacking for too much. Um, it was just another option. I still think I'm going to go with this and maybe kill this one. I mean, they're going to be attacking him anyway, so I might as well get kind of in their face. But I want to get two in their face, right? Because if I stand here, then all of them will be able to attack him. Well, maybe one standing here and then this one. I don't really want to get two in their face now, now that I'm thinking about this. Um, Cause this advantage, they could still pull like plus one, plus one or plus one, plus two or a times two. And that could really screw things up. Um, if they pull two of those, they do have two curses. I guess, you know what? I'm okay with this. Let's stand here. We'll kill this one. Not all of them are going to be attacking him anyway. Or maybe. I, <laughs> who knows? Uh, I'm not going to try and do the math now. So, Or the, the full on. Like you're attacking here and here and you're attacking these two. Let's just see who they attack. I think they are going to be both attacking uh, the Night Shroud. And yeah, I guess it's pretty easy. They're both attacking both of them. Okay. Fair enough. Let's kill this guy. Because we can finally do it. We don't have to worry about that one. Okay. Good. Good. It's kind of sucky that they pulled a plus two with that. Oh no, they're going this way. Okay, this is a bit more troubling now. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do, because this is too bad. My fear is if I don't if I don't move away, because I want to I want to attack and attack. And what I could do instead is move two back here and then attack here to stun this one and then I don't have to worry about Man. I really wanted to do two attacks to heal her up too. But she is gonna be fine. We can we can heal and attack as well let's let's do this this is it's too bad um oh we can actually we i forgot we have that too we're gonna attack you with muddle god we're gonna heal up And you actually do have um, a minor healing potion too, so you're you're fine. Let's make this attack now, um, and then we can judge if we're going to be standing around here or not. I think it's good to try and kill you because you might be able to kill this one anyway. So let's go for that one. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I don't want to stand around and heal now. Or do I? I mean, it's an attack of four. If I do this, they could pull a plus one, a plus two, a plus three. I mean, moving away. I mean, they could. Okay. I keep saying I mean, I mean, I mean. If they pull a plus two, that's bad. That's really bad. Um, and then if, if we can't kill this one, then it's even worse because then they're going to be attacking her. So we just have to move out of the way. 
Okay. I mean, there. Super annoying. We're getting... Okay, hey. Forgot about you. I didn't even know you were going to be there. But thank you. We've actually taken care of both of them. Um, you're still standing here. So let's still get you moving. And I think what I'm going to do here is, since you're not moving, let's stick you right there. And then it'll be an attack with Muddle, basically. Uh, then we'll attack here with you. Good. Now let's bring those cards back to my hand. Okay. So now they're going to be attacking you. Well, just this one. That's the next thing. Oh, I have to choose the four cards. Yeah, there's four of them, so just take them all. And your turn. Great. That's good. And then the other one is um, stunned, so we won't be getting anything from that. Good, okay, round 14. We're still alive. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's see what goes on now. And once again, the Mind Thief going at five with Cranium Overload for the uh, initiative and the movement here and Submissive Affliction. Um, I might do it one or the other way, not sure yet. Let's see what they do. And then Summoner at 25 with Biting Wind, like to heal. And then we'll uh, summon in two Shadow Wolves, uh, probably here. That way, I know that we're, we're kind of doing this earlier, but I want to bring in the healing as fast as possible so that if she gets in trouble, she's she's healing. This is... It is a lot of micromanagement to keep her alive right now and that was that was my mistake uh, a very clear mistake from as soon as i put her there you know it was a bad plan to begin with so and then we got unlucky of course along the way sunkeeper dazzling charge and holy strike i think i'm going to have to use this for the burn and this way we can heal herself strengthen and then make a, a strong attack against somebody here um and then yeah i think that'll be good and then we can we can be ready for the next round too uh, although she's probably gonna have to take a long rest so oh well and then long rest for the night shroud okay so there's summoning that's not that bad in this case i'm okay with it because that means they're taking damage one and they're not attacking too. So uh, these two guys are attacking. I'd like to take care of that as quick as possible though. So what I'm going to do here is I don't think it's worth it to, well, maybe I can still do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch for a heal and then I will have somebody else attack you or maybe one of them something like that so let's do this because I could sure I could walk away and punch but what's what's really might as well just stand right where I am that's too bad but we will heal him up or the some uh, the spirit here and now I will have I mean I guess it really doesn't matter who's attacking who like these attacking somebody else or them attacking each other let's let's have that happen let's have you attack right here that way it's not muddled it's nothing um, I hope you can attack you can good good hit so you're dead that's that's why i'm okay with it hey you pulled 
<laughs> you pulled what you could, I guess. Um, now I'm a little afraid about these guys' attacks. I don't... I mean, I'm, oh, I'm kind of okay with them attacking the wolves in some way because then they're just going to die. Um, I mean, I'm not okay with it. I don't want them to die. But I'm, I'm okay with them attacking the wolves instead of our allies here. So I think, well, you're probably going to be attacked from this one. Oh, I guess, yeah. You know what? That's what's going to happen. Um, wow, that's bright. Uh, yeah, you're attacking here and you're attacking here. They are going to move back, so it's not going to be a disadvantage. Okay. And let's just use this now. I don't know another time I'm going to be able to use it, so... There. You're all... You're all ready for your next attacks. That's going to be helpful. Particularly because they're going to be chasing them down, probably. Uh, let's use this to heal up. And actually, we might be able to kill one of them now. Let's try to kill this one. I know we could try to attack them, but I don't see... I don't know. I just... I think trying to keep our guys alive is going to go a long way. So let's kill this one. Good. That will keep this warrior spirit alive a little longer. And that's going to be more helpful than trying to kill one of these... Um, or attacking one of these, not killing it, and then this one um, killing this. So, yeah. Anyway, that's what I did. It's too late. These guys will be able to maybe kill pretty easily. Wow. Anything but the times two. Long rest. Let's get rid of that terror blade. I don't see it being too helpful now. Round 15. Here we go. I really want to... Um... Yeah, you know what? This is how we're going to do it. Short rest right here. That's fine. She's probably going to be dying anyway. We want to... I'm going to just do this on the fly here because we're getting pretty close and I'm getting more uh, amped up here. We need to move out of the way. Oh, what's going on there? Um, sorry, my, my phone. Um, we need to move out of the way. We do have the boots now. And kind of go invisible, but... We want to be... We want to be going fast. Let's go with something like... I kind of want to use this just to pick up some of these coins. There are so many coins around, aren't there? But let's wait until I know I'm going to win. Uh, I mean, that could be right now. So let's use it. And I don't know what else to do here. I guess cloak and shade, but you're already bringing, no, you're not. Okay. So we'll do this just to get the, the darkness going. And then I'm going to jump kind of like over here and pick up some of these coins. Sure. 51 might not be good enough, but it is going to be kind of fine because they're going to, to surround her, I hope. And we'll go with Practical Plans as a, uh, a movement card if I don't get surrounded the way I want to. Uh, we want to go early. So let's go as early as possible, and we'll also use... Uh, 
Ah, bonded might. That's what I wanted. Um, we'll use this, and I'm gonna use. I'm gonna bring this in just in case. If I can find a way to use it, I'll use it. And you, my friend. Don't know. Don't know. We could just long rest. I think that's a good choice. Let's just long rest with you. All right. Living bones are going to heal. They don't need to, so that's fine. Cultists are going to be healing. That's bad. That's very bad. So, and that's at 31, too, so... Not a lot of damage coming in. That's fine. All right. Yeah, come on in. Thanks, buddy. I really love the, the thorn shooter for her. is just so good. All right. There's another one. They're pulling all my times twos. <laughs> what? What just happened? That was insane. They each of them just took one out. All no, not all four of them. Three of them did. That was fantastic. Uh, well, I definitely don't see a reason to do this unless I can get way back here and I can't. Oh, I guess I could stand right here. Um, don't really want to, though. So, undo that. I don't really know what else to do, though. Uh, we do have... We are strengthened, so let's step up to here. We can pick up some coins. And we'll skip the rest and just attack here with with uh, Strengthen. Another times two. Look at that. I think we just pulled all of them. Uh, in a previous... I think in the last scenario, the last uh, episode, we didn't see any of those times twos and we've seen all of them in this one turn. That... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, wow, I'm impressed by her turn right there. You're not invisible. You can't go invisible. That's right. What we were going to do is this. We'll just attack here. Oh, you know what? Actually. Undo this. Um, I'm going to attack here. With all of that. Because, yeah, if I pulled that plus two, it would kill them, and now they don't have that curse. And I'm just going to jump back here, and um, I guess if I, if I stand here, I'll pick up all of these coins. If I go way back here, I'll pick these. Is there really a difference? Three, three, three. I can't tell. Three, three. That's probably three. This is probably three, two. Yeah, okay. Probably not much of a difference where I stand, but I'll go. I'll go way back here. Confirm that mo movement. Skip. Confirm the action. We do have some money back here. I don't think I'm gonna send them back that far, but we'll see. So, yeah, they're both now... No! Okay, that's still fine. Whatever. We're strengthened. Let's... Let's, uh... Let's do this. Of course. Why would I expect anything else? Um... I'm going to have you move over here out of the way so that these dogs and all this stuff can have some fun with you guys. All right. Well, I mean, we made it through that turn again. Drop submissive affliction. Okay. The only two cards you have, the only two cards you have... 
Uh, you do have some extra cards. We could go for the uh, stun so that we can stun again. We'll take a loot so that we can infuse and do all that fun stuff. Um, that means let's move up and curse and we'll use this to kill one and we'll kill that one now. So I can't really, I'm, I'm having a hard time believing what's happening here, but uh, it's looking like we might actually see the end in a good way. And man, that was frustrating, but you you can see what one, one mistake can do. Um, it really forces you to to uh, micromanage every single move that you are you're trying to perform so let's move all the way up into here so we can't kill this one this one is this one was stunned so it doesn't have the on death thing this one does uh, I wish it would show that somewhere you know but it doesn't um, something else kind of to add to their list I'm sorry I'm <laughs> not not trying to add work or anything and I, I doubt that they're even watching but um, but these things are I mean because it's it was stunned it shouldn't have that on death um, ability and it would be nice to show that somewhere and maybe it does and I'm just not seeing it but I, I doubt it Good hits. Here we go. This this is when they just kill everything, right? Yep. That one's dead now. And that one's gonna attack all of you guys. Thanks. I guess it didn't didn't hurt too much. Wow. I mean it. I think it came down to the summoner. Look at this. The two shadow wolves. This warrior spirit lasted quite a while, actually. I'm pretty sure I brought him in here. Is that right? And then it made it all the way over to there? Or did I bring it in? No, I brought it in right here. That's right. That's right. Uh, well. Uh, this one is two points, so we'll just summon this one in too. And then we can move and pick up some coinage here. Looking like three, so that's probably good. Skip the movement. And then there's you. We'll use this to pick up some coins and we'll get a point out of it as well. Skip the movement, skip the action, skip the attack. We did it, guys. Wow. I am... Well, I, honestly, I'm exhausted. <laughs> These long episodes kill me. Um, it looks like it takes two and a half hours to record it. Sure, that's how long the video is, but... Basically, add another hour or two on top of that, and that's kind of... I mean, I take some breaks here and there. As the final cultist dies their hold over the demons and spirits are broken well they're all dead too and the crypt falls silent so dr doolittle the summoner buffs so the summoner just got another oh that's funny dr doolittle uh the summoner buffs sim summoned allies 30 times that gives her a perk point i believe is i think so um yeah look at that summoner damage down 94 so it was totally her summons that carried the whole team 12 enemies killed she's fantastic i you know i i think i said it before i did not have a lot of fun with the summoner when i had her in my physical like the board game campaign um she kind of came and went very quickly and and i didn't really have too much fun or take too much time looking at her she is a beast. I guess all of her summons are the beast, right? So, yeah, she is a lot of fun, actually. Um, 
She's not my typical, she's not really my play style. The Sun Keeper is my play style. And damage taken, 36. Wow. Healing done, 21. So this is my kind of play style here. Frontline uh, support. I want like the heavy shield, the hammer, and the healing. That's that's kind of my, my play style. Um, if I was to play in any, you know, like in D&D or any other kind of game, this is the kind of player I like to play as. The cleric, I guess. So, great. Three more times for, for the Night Shroud. Consume dark three more times and he'll get another perk point. Oof. I am, yeah, I'm exhausted. All right, well, that's the end of the video. <laughs> Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. That was quite a challenge. I'm super happy that we came out on top in that one. I, we got the plate mail design, five experience each. We've unlocked Grave uh, uh, East Grove. Did you know that East Grove used to have a detachment of ancient royal guard? I didn't either, but I now have a set of plate mail in store for you. Okay. Strange. Uh, Sun Keeper leveled up. We have a level up for the Mind Thief. And I'm going to head over to the trainer real quick. We have a perk point for the Summoner. Rate. And still have these guys. I'm, I'm excited to bring them in. But I have plenty to work with and plenty to have fun with. So I'm going to wait until somebody finally asks for this, uh, one of these two. I think that was all we had, yeah. Well, we're getting close to killing 100 hounds, just a couple more. That's good to know. All right. Well, once again, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you next time.